Okay, uh, I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to configure Doom Builder properly because I don't think um, many people understand certain parts of it. So, uh, first thing, open up the configuration. Um, first thing we're going to want to set up is our files. Um, as you can see here, it lists all the different uh, source ports and the ones I use the most are Z Doom, Doom in Hexen format, and Standard Doom 2. Um, so you're going to use your Doom 2 WAD for both of these. So you know, click Doom 2, hit Browse, and then find your Doom 2 WAD wherever you may have it, and do the same thing for Doom in Hexen format. Because just because it's in Hexen format doesn't mean it uses a different IWAD. Uh, I know that confused me at first when I first started mapping, so I wouldn't be surprised if someone else does. <laughs> but um, that's pretty much the, the most of it. Um, you can set your default textures in here. I like to have mine blank because I don't like it giving me you know, unknown textures and stuff already. Uh, so you can just put a hyphen in there and that's fine. Now here is another thing I like to do. Um, you can see your in the editing tab. There's your vertex selection range and line depth selection range. Now and your stitch vertices range as well. And if you've um, watched my tutorial on the uh, the false floors, you'll know that the range is definitely two. Uh, you can set it to one. Uh, I like to keep the line depth split range at two. Um, for line depth selection, uh, I prefer somewhere around 5, but 10 is good. Um, vertex selection range can stay 10, and since things, you shouldn't really have a problem with a whole lot of things in one area because in Doom that doesn't look right, but you know you never know. Um, I also have uh, copy effects and tags when pasting, so uh, that is like if you have a line depth action. Uh, assigned when you copy and paste normally it won't copy the line def actions on it but uh, you can just click this checkbox here and it will do that um, other than that uh, you know you can change your 3d mode uh, options you can change your field of view movement speed mouse speed gamma and brightness and all that good stuff. Um, you can also enable some extras like fog and yeah, but other than that uh, there's not too much to worry about there. Shortcut keys, I don't change them, but it's definitely good to take a look through um, because a, a lot of these will come in handy. Um, and then testing this is another this is another big one um, if you're like me you probably use ZDoom as your source port so in, for the engine box hit browse and then find your ZDoom executable and then hit OK and that should have you configured and then when you go to make a new map you can pick ZDoom, Doom and Hexen format type in map 01 and everything should work fine but that's pretty much it um, if you have any questions about uh, certain options or configurations, just let me know, and uh, I can explain it to you in a message or a comment.